Meet Ben. He started a jam making business and now it's thriving. Because his jams are so popular, a major retailer has asked him to start supplying his products to them. Due to the large orders they've placed, Ben will have to transport cases of his jam to the retailer on pallets. Ben already identifies his jars and cases of jam with GS1 barcodes and numbers. And now Ben will have to use barcodes and numbers for all his pallets too. By using the company prefix that he licenses from GS1, Ben can create a unique serial shipping container code, or SSCC, for every one of his pallets. The SSCC is then encoded in a specific barcode called a GS1128. Retailers may ask for additional information to be included in the barcode too, such as batch numbers and expiry dates. Ben prints these barcodes on labels and applies them to each of his pallets before they leave his factory. There's a standard format for these labels, called a GS1 logistics label, which retailers around the world use. The retailer might also ask Ben for a dispatch advice, or ASN as it's sometimes called. This is an electronic message that provides all the details of Ben's shipment and all the goods it contains. Ben sends the dispatch advice and the shipment direct to the retailer, or more commonly, to their distribution centre. When the shipment arrives, the barcode on each pallet is scanned and the SSCC is matched to the dispatch advice. This allows the retailer to update their systems and to store the goods quickly and accurately, which makes it easier for them to then distribute the goods to their shops. Ben can use this same process when he sells to other retailers. And retailers can use the same fast and reliable receiving process for all their suppliers. It means everyone has a precise record of everything that is shipped and received. This is how GS1 standards help every supplier and retailer to automate their supply chains which is why over 2 million organisations globally use them. To see how GS1 standards can help you, contact us today.